Before carrying out repair and maintenance work, set the parking brake, shut off the engine, and remove the key. Always refer to the operator manual for maintenance information. Doffer height adjustment should be checked on all row units every six hours of operation. If doffer columns are too high and are not contacting the spindles, cotton will not be doffed from the spindles. If columns are too low, excessive doffer pad, spindle bushing, and spindle barb wear will occur. Stop the engine and remove the key prior to doffer inspection or adjustment. After the row unit has been cleaned, position the spindles of one bar on the front drum in line with the slot in the bottom of the unit frame. When properly adjusted, a slight drag will be felt while rocking the doffer back and forth. To adjust, turn the adjuster screw counterclockwise until the doffer turns freely. Turn the adjuster clockwise one click at a time until a slight drag between the doffer pad and spindle is felt while rocking the doffer. Check pressure plate clearance by rotating the units with the remote tether. Make sure all others are clear of the machine before activating the tether. Loosen the nuts on the adjusters until the spindles begin to contact the pressure plates as the drum rotates. Tighten the nuts evenly and in small increments until the spindles no longer contact the pressure plates. Turn the adjustment nuts until the clearance between the spindles and pressure plates is 3 to 6 millimeters or 1 8 to 1 quarter inch. To adjust pressure plate spring tension, use the row unit wrench or a 19 millimeter wrench to rotate the shaft counterclockwise until the cap screw can be removed from the adjustment plate and tension is removed from the springs. Rotate the adjustment counterclockwise until the springs contact the pressure plate and a hole aligns in the adjuster plates. Check to assure springs are seated in the slots in the pressure plates. Rotate the adjustment on the front drum counterclockwise until the second set of holes align and install the cap screw. Rotate the adjustment on the rear drum counterclockwise until the third set of holes align and install the cap screw. If too much cotton is left on the plant, first adjust the rear plate tighter for improved spindle penetration into the plant. Adjust the front drum pressure plate tension only if necessary. For more detailed information, refer to the operator's manual.